Hello, my incisive friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. You know, this is a question that's been coming up a lot lately. Now that into the public spaces, we hear more about NHIs, non-human intelligences, and what would these types of more advanced civilizations, intelligences, beings, what would they be like? How would they be structured? Because this certainly could seem like a major hurdle when technology is introduced and grows faster than social constructs and ethics, perhaps even. Over time, technology allows fewer and fewer people to do greater and greater damage with less and less. You know, it used to take, you know, months to siege a castle and, you know, break past the ramparts and the moats and all these incredible inventions they had to break into the castle and take it over. Now, one person with a suitcase nuke can basically take out a city. And there has to be some sort of compromise with the power of technology and the power of one to do so much damage to others. There has to be some sort of transparency trade-off. And it would be most productive if that transparency trade-off was in all directions. Um, like, take the U.S. as an example. Um, you know, all of the people's uh, lives are transparent digitally and video and, you know, different ways our lives are recorded. Um, and governments should have that transparency too. That would really make us, you know, sometimes the anonymity of the internet makes people act like maybe perhaps more like they truly are or makes them feel very puckish. And in one bad moment in a future civilization of so much power, in one bad moment, a being could do horrific, completely unacceptable and would must necessitate some sort of framework to prevent that from happening. So there would be different types of hive transparency. There would be a restricted type of transparency where types of data are shared with personal private areas. <clears throat> How do you divide that up so that, um, you know, the individual's can't use their personal areas to do um, mega disastrous stuff is um, is a real a threshold. You know, how much do you incorporate biological with technological? I mean, do you go the stay truly biological and just add on things, which seems very logical? Or... It certainly seems very logical where a civilization could be 100% data sharing. Everyone and all of their data can be accessed. But everyone is still a unique individual. It's kind of like psychic's ability to see distant places and things and people and um, each person, each target is individual but 100% of the data is accessible. Of course, it's not always 100% accurate, but it is accessible, all types of data. And so a hive with a restricted transparency could be 100% data shared, but by unique individuals who just are not ashamed of what they do or admit or embrace their flaws for group reflection. Then there's one step further, and that is literally becoming one. And this can be in several different ways, obviously. It can be kind of like the Borg versions. Um, it can be like, uh, you know how our universe seems to have basic laws that seem to be incredibly efficient and the most logical, the... Occam's razor solutions most often seem correct. And maybe certain civilizations would see the laws of our universe as universal laws to decide outcomes of everything from, you know, uh, laws to 
judicial hearings on different topics, um, and that the most logical outcome would be sought always, strived for. Um, I can see that working in many ways and be a very productive society. And this could be in a group of hive individuals or a hundred percent sharing group, but they would certainly seek immortality and backups to the immortality. And here's where things get really interesting because immortals can gain resources and money and leverage that um, non or that mortals uh, can't access. And I could easily see one small group of elites becoming immortals slowly over time and then realizing that they should take out the other immortals so one immortal could have the most access to everything. And it would be facilitated technologically, you know, with avatars and um, other ways of monitoring everything. So you could imagine one immortal taking over everything or a group of hive immortals who work together for everything, which of course is the more appealing notion of the two. Then what would a group like this want to do next? What would be a priority for them? Aside from the banal, mundane things like energy and transportation, and things like that, but going post-universal, meaning you could be immortal in just this universe and in these dimensions, and that's great. But if there are other dimensions then they would certainly be sought out regardless of whether there really are or not, because that would give a greater security to um, an incredibly intelligent civilization. And th there's a lot of bizarre notions here, but this is knocking at our door right now. Uh, these different realities are upon us. We could completely become a post-universal, non-biological species. Go beyond universes. Go through multiple universes simultaneously, becoming creators. I certainly can envision that. There's a lot of interesting ways to address this NHI issue. And the more I look at our cases here on Earth and our solar system, there's a lot of uh, very logical and rational ideas of how intelligent life could have evolved over time, perhaps starting maybe on Venus, then it migrated and moved up uh, panspermia to Mars when Mars had oceans and an atmosphere and rivers and water and um, extremely prime conditions for life could have developed there over, you know, billions of years. And after some asteroid impacts and other things, some of those, you know, different creatures could uh, travel to, to earth and have evolved to the next level. So I think as we travel more and more, and as our technology grows more and more, uh, we will consider ourselves less biologicals and the disturbing notion of non-human intelligences <laughs> will seem more funny over time because all living things have some levels of intelligence. And it's the same is true with, with humans. And these beings, we're gonna have to redefine what we, call intelligence. You can see that now with chat GPT and um, AI. Intelligence is intelligence, period. And um, bringing in questions like soul are, are almost um, not helpful in terms of 
defining some of the most logical parameters. Um, or just kind of in a very biased context, thinking that human consciousness is very special and that other beings on this planet didn't evolve the same things at lower levels for the same exact reasons that we did. I think we may be very surprised by the experiences that other intelligent life forms have. What do you guys think? I love you.